You know, the United States, uh, they're, they're the best. That's the safest place in the world I can put my money. Am I in the middle of some movie? What wealth you have can be eradicated in a matter of hours. Words can't describe it. What if there's another emergency that, that arises? Then we have no funds. Indebtedness of households, firms, banks, governments, the debts of all these actors in the economic system uh, have increased much more than GDP. We've got to change the way we're approaching our economic endeavors. Today, debt is treated like an asset, can be traded globally. You want to be careful about making too many pets, especially when there is some indication that the future might be very different from the present. The notional value of the derivatives market is $600 trillion, and that is about eight to 10 times as large as global GDP. How many people can insure one person's house? Financial literacy was not this complicated 100 years ago. At some point, the emperors had just run out of money. Contagion. Economic contagion. Economic Financial. contagion. Financial. Yep. Today it's our central banks who are doing the rescue operation. It is sound currency because it is backed by actual good assets. These latent hidden climate risks that might exist in different housing markets, should they burst, could, could take down the entire financial system. We're rich! Energy poverty, lack of food, income inequality. Can you have a society that's been as successful as this one has in a material sense, and can it transform itself? It's all rigged. People don't have an actual choice in a lot of stuff. You guys must have some wild conversations, yeah, man. After the 1980s, we thought, oh, Gordon Gecko's a great guy. He taught us greed is good. Nature is going to be eroding the foundations of our economy. Come on down to our luxury survival condo and don't let the Armageddon get you down.